Today I'm going to be having a beer that Beer Geek Nation, Chris, sent me some from all the way in Pennsylvania. And there are certain beers that I cannot get here in California. And today I'm going to be having Weyerbacher's Simcoe Double IPA. This one, uh, I've never had a Weyerbacher before, but I kept hearing about them. They have their Quadruple, their Imperial Stout, but their Double Simcoe IPA is one of their most well-known ones. Um, right after this one, I'm going to be having the unfiltered one, which is the one I'm really looking forward to because I like my double IPAs cloudy. So, anyways, let me go ahead and open this up and show you how it is. Here we go, opening it up. Bam! And you know what? I can't get it any fresher than I can ever in California because uh, Chris gets them really fresh. So, let me pour it into my favorite double IPA glass, or IPA glass, whichever. Um, so yeah, this is a 9% double IPA. It's a good amount of ABV and a dub double IPA. Okay, so we got it all the way here, and voila. You know what? It's actually quite cloudy. I can't believe this is the un unfiltered one, or the non-unfiltered double IPA. This is the regular Weibacher Double Simcoe IPA. Um, yeah, it's very cloudy. It's almost got this brownish amber kind of color to it. Uh, it's really nice, you know, the fact that it's already already looks unfiltered makes me happy. So, let me go ahead and check the aroma here. Oh yeah, it's got this earthy, a lot of grass, pine kind of uh, hop smell. Got some, uh, a bit like banana actually, a bit banana, peaches. No, no, no real citrus, probably mango. So those are the, uh, the fruits that I'm getting from it. The banana is probably maybe because of how unfiltered it is. I still can't believe this is the non-unfiltered one. So anyways, thanks so much Chris for doing the little tradey trade and uh, this is to you. Come by. Wow. Mmm. Wow, it's, it's got this. So I, like I drink it right, and sure enough, you get a lot of grass, earth, and all that. So some of the fresh cut grass uh, from the hops, and it has a really nice dry finish to it. Um, it's it's definitely not too syrupy. It's starting to become my pet peeve, where a lot of double IPAs and a lot of West Coast double IPAs do this, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I just don't like it when it's got that lingering syrupiness to it. Um, whereas this doesn't. This actually has a nice balance to it. Decent amount of car carbonation to cleanse the palate. I have also noticed that the carbonation really helps bring out the, the hops to the profile of the entire beer. Uh, because my, my, uh, my black IPA, the homebrew that I made, uh, when it was flat, it was like, I was like, where's the hops? And as soon as it got carbonated, it brought that up, brought a good amount of brightness to the beer. And, give it more dimension. So, yeah, I'm I'm really liking this beer here. Yeah, fresh hops. I'm so glad I got a fresh one of this. This is definitely good. Um, this would be up in the, I guess it would be up in the B plus range, maybe A minus. Uh, this is definitely a solid double IPA. I can't really point out anything wrong with this one. Um, in some ways, it's not a bad thing. It's it's on the slightly on the simpler side, but as I'm tasting it more towards the end, I'm getting some of this aftertaste of the actually of the the fruits, the fruit notes that I'm, I, I've been uh, that I pointed out to you. That I'm, I'm starting to get that. It's actually kind of like the 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 under drop of the of the of the beer, the the flavor of the beer. So like the the banana, mango, and um, do da fuda di di di. <laughs> it's like the fruits I, I forgot what I, which ones I mentioned. But yeah, this is quite good. Um, just out of my preference, you know, it's hard to completely, uh, completely negate subjectivity. But I think because I am actually enjoying this, I'm going to give this an A minus. This is this is a solid double IPA, and I think this is a prime example of an East Coast double IPA. You can't. There, there's no way around it. It's definitely a standard East Coast double IPA, and I dig it. This was Weyerbacher's Double Simcoe IPA. 
Uh, it's purely brewed just with Simcoe hops. Um, it's good, 9%. If you're in the Pennsylvania, some East Coast area states, you're definitely going to be able to get it and I recommend it. Come by.